I took my Element Enduro to my local testing ground to test out the changes, and it performed as expected on most fronts, but there were a couple of unexpected surprises as well. Welcome to Pixel Hobbies. The stock Enduro chassis is pretty light and provides good articulation and stability with good weight distribution. Without the battery, it weighs 55% front and 45% rear. This makes it easier to get to the ideal weight distribution of 60% front and 40% rear that I'm looking for. Previously, I had focused adding weight mainly to the front by adding brass wheel waist and brass diff cover by Tyrio. The additional weight really helped with the overall traction, but I felt that Enduro can benefit with a bit more weight down low and unsprung to all four corners. Recently, I added a bit more weight to all four corners on my Element Enduro using brass knuckles by SSD and brass axle weights by SSD. The SSD brass knuckles added 67 grams to the front and then the SSD rear axle weight added 51 grams to the rear. I took my Element Enduro to my local testing ground to test out the changes and it performed as expected on most front, but there were a couple of unexpected surprises as well. Let me first show some before and after running videos and then I will share my thoughts afterwards.
As expected, the additional weights to all four corners stabilized the chassis and provided a bit more traction to all four wheels. It gave a more planet feel overall, especially in the rear. With 11.83% overdrive, the one downside is that it increases the rear wheel slippage, especially when side handling. The additional rear weight definitely minimized the rear wheel slippage. Additionally, there seems to be a noticeable decrease of the chassis hopping around. But it isn't all positive. I was a bit disappointed with climbing performance improvement on very steep climbs. Maybe I expected a bit too much. The additional weight to all four corners, while it planted all four wheels and improved traction, it seemed to affect the overall weight of Enduro, and Enduro seems to labor a bit more on very steep climbs. Additionally, I noticed that the front end had a tendency to lift much more, which was totally unexpected. The front knuckles weighs 16 grams more than the rear axle weight, so it should still provide more front weight bias and thus plant the front wheels. The additional weights definitely played a bit of a havoc with, to my current sh shock settings, and I will need to look into adjusting them, either with the heavier shock oil or springs or combination of both. I did like the added stability and the traction, so final verdict will have to wait until I retest it after the adjustments. Please like and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching Vixen Hobbies.